While putting on her makeup in front of the mirror, Grace accidentally knocked over a vase that stood on the nightstand. With a crash it fell to the floor, cracked and crumbled into several pieces. Sadly looking at the broken vase, Grace smiled and thought that it was for luck, and she was sure to have it, because she was getting married soon. Suddenly, the doorbell rang. It was her best friend, with whom Grace had agreed to go to a restaurant and once again, to check the wedding menu. Lucy entered the apartment and immediately began to criticize Grace for letting her husband-to-be go to a bachelor party. Grace shook her head and laughingly replied that Jacob will soon take responsibility for the fate of two people and become the head of the family, so nothing bad happens if he has fun before the wedding. Lucy was very perceptive, and as she thought, she was a good judge of character. And she did not understand why her naive friend easily let the groom go, knowing how he liked to have fun, especially in good company. Grace offered Lucy to be a bridesmaid, but she flatly refused. Lucy couldn't stand Jacob, and she thought her best friend's wedding was a mistake. She tried her best to prove that he was not worthy of Grace and that he was a classic Casanova, but Grace would not listen. Frankly speaking, Grace's parents were not happy about their union either, and they thought to the last that she would change her mind. But Grace was a surgeon and her work took all her time, so she had no time to look for a new boyfriend and wait for other proposals. Grace quickly put on her coat, called a cab, and together with Lucy, they left the apartment. Half an hour later, they were already in the restaurant. After discussing all the details with the manager, the girls were about to leave when Grace noticed her colleague Kevin, who was sitting alone at one of the tables. He was not just a colleague, but her ex-boyfriend, with whom they had dated when they were students at medical school. But due to circumstances, they had been separated for many years. But nevertheless, as fate would have it, Grace and Kevin met ten years later, but this time in the same hospital. And for more than two years, they have been working together side by side, and during this time they got so accustomed to each other that Grace treated Kevin as her brother. But for Kevin, Grace was still his beloved, even though he didn't show it. When they started working together, Grace was already dating Jacob and Kevin would not interfere in their relationship. And now it was impossible to change anything because the day before was her wedding to another man. Kevin smiled and nodded in greeting. Grace smiled back and hurried to the exit, a cab was waiting for her and Lucy. Thanking her friend for the company, Grace got into her cab and drove away. She was sad. Suddenly, memories came flooding back, and she was surprised to realize that she really wanted to be in the company of Kevin outside the hospital again. To distract herself from such dangerous thoughts, she called her fiancé, but his phone was unavailable. On the way home, Grace dialed Jacob's number again without results and went to bed, thinking that in the morning all will be okay. But the next day, Jacob's phone was not available again. Grace did not think about anything bad, deciding that her beloved most likely slept after the bachelor party. There were two days before the wedding, and the girl was completely immersed in the final preparations. The next day, Jacob still did not get in touch, as if he completely forgot that the wedding was coming up. But Grace was not worried anyway, realizing that this was his last opportunity to have fun to the fullest, and if he wanted to rest, there was no need to bother him. On the day of the wedding, Grace woke up in a cheerful mood, because today she was about to sign the paper and officially become Jacob's wife. She dialed her fiancé, and finally he was available and picked up the phone. Grace said joyfully that she missed him, and then playfully asked him if he remembered what day it was. To her surprise, Jacob irritably answered that of course he remembered and would be on time. At this point, the conversation broke off. Grace was discouraged, it was not how she had imagined a conversation with her fiancé who had been missing for a couple of days. In any case, she began to get ready, driving away bad thoughts. In the meantime, Jacob and his mistress, whom Grace would find out about later, was in a hurry and was driving through the city, exceeding the speed limit. A green light flashed in the distance, then a yellow light appeared, but Jacob wanted to be in time, so he only turned up the gas. Grace had time to put on a beautiful white dress when the phone rang. It was Kevin. He briefly explained that they were fighting for Jacob's life, and she had to urgently get to the hospital. The man's condition was critical and serious. Grace could hardly keep on her feet from the terrible news. Without thinking twice, Grace quickly took off her dress and rushed to the hospital. Kevin met her in front of the operating room. Not being able to look her in the eyes, he said that Jacob was gone. 
Grace sobbed and sank hysterically to the floor. She was sedated and placed in an empty ward. When Kevin looked in on her a few hours later, Grace asked in a lifeless voice how it happened. Kevin did not want to tell her about the woman who drove with Jacob in the car, but from the nurses Grace already knew about it. Then Kevin hesitantly admitted that the girl who was driving with Jacob was probably his girlfriend. She was barely injured in the accident, but when she found out that they could not save Jacob, she was sobbing and calling him her sweetheart. Grace was shaken by this confession. She guessed that her fiancé was with his mistress. Grace burst into tears again. She mourned Jacob and herself, who had been cruelly deceived by the man she loved. Kevin was silent, realizing that his words of comfort in this situation would be superfluous. Several months passed. Grace was able to turn over this page of her life. Kevin supported her all the time, and one day he couldn't stand it and told her about his feelings. That's how their new relationship began and two matching hearts reunited.